is the JetCat P100 RX engine. In this video, we're going to take it apart for you. So the first thing you're going to do to remove the nozzle is use the T9 hex tool. And there are three bolts on the nozzle that you'll need to remove for this process. The next step in this process is to take off the inlet cowling. There are three screws on this as well. You'll need two different tools to do this. There's the screwdriver and then also the T9 hex tool again. Now that the inlet cowling is off, you can see the circuit board that's underneath. So on top, you have the starter cap, and then you can see the circuit board as well with the uh, connector for the turbine. And then on the other side, you have all of the fuel flow equipment. So the first thing you need to take off are the wires that connect the fuel flow to the circuit board. And then you need to remove the bolt that connects the fuel flow um, using the T15 hex tool. Next, you can remove all the fuel flow equipment. The easiest thing to do for the next step is to take off the circuit board and the inlet to the compressor together. So to do this, you'll need to remove three screws from the circuit board and then three screws also from the inlet to the compressor. And to do this, you'll use the T9 hex tool again, and then an Allen wrench. After removing the starter cap and the circuit board, you'll come to this ring around the compressor. So when you take off the um, starter cap, you'll also need to remove this EGT sensor. It goes in um, the hole right there and then it exits out the back into the nozzle. So you'll need to remove that when you take off the circuit board. Um, we went ahead and removed, there's three screws around this ring. We went ahead and removed them and you'll need to use the slotted screwdriver for that. Um, that ring is pretty hard to get off because it seals in the combustion chamber. So you'll probably need to use pliers to um, take it all the way off. And then the next step is to go to the back of the engine where you can see the turbine. And we're gonna take off this ring that connects the housing to the combustion chamber. There are eight screws that you need to take off with the Allen wrench. We've already loosened them a little bit before this. Now you can pop out all of the internals from the outer casing. This is the combustion chamber. These are the fuel lines, which bring the fuel from the fuel distribution ring into the combustion chamber. You'll need to unhook these lines from the back of the combustion chamber. Next, you can take off the compressor from the main shaft. It'll take a lot of force to get off, but you can remove that and then there's a bearing housing in there. You can see it on the counter right there. You'll have to take all of that out as well. And then from the back, you can slide the main shaft off with the turbine. And then there's another ring. Oh, there's another uh, bearing housing behind that as well. And then there's the ring that holds the stators to the back of the combustor and you'll need to take that off as well. Next, you can remove the compressor stators from the combustion chamber. There are four screws that you'll need to remove using the Phillips head screwdriver. And once you take that off, you have access to the combustion chamber. You can take off the main shaft from the compressor stators if you want with another screwdriver, but it's not necessary to have access to every part of the engine. So that's it. You've taken apart the whole engine and now you can put it back together.